old an, an old uh, sign of Draco deck that I think has gotten two recent buffs, despite also getting two recent nerfs. We used to play up the Beanstalk and uh, Fury in this deck, and like. You have you had Scion, Leyline Binding, Fury to trigger up the Beanstalk. It was really nice, and then Fury was also a really nice card in this deck. Um, but the, the 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 goal of this of this plan is to put a Shadow of Mortality or Scion of Draco on top of your library with Witch's Cottage, and then use Calibrated Blast to reveal that card from the top of your library, dealing your opponent twelve or fifteen damage, and then finish your opponent off with Tribal Flames, or just have them already be low enough. Leyline is kind of awesome in the shell. Where you you really want to play Fable to like loot and card select, and so like you have extra ways to loot it away uh, compared to like the regular Domain Zoo deck. It's like less of a as a, as a, a, a lower floor, um, but all, it also just kind of makes your man. You, obviously, Leyline makes your mana base so much better, and like you get to save your fetch lands for which is Cottage later, which is really cool. Um, I feel like, I feel like the main deck just looks to me super super duper clean, super duper smooth. Um. Also, Kavu gets to be like pretty significantly powered up. It's always been like a good card in the in the archetype. You kind of have to play Temple Garden. It's a little bit weird, but uh, we were also talking about this yesterday. Is that the Surveil Lands are pretty significant upgrades for the archetype too. Being able to dig for your combo and also like incidentally mill a big creature occasionally to like set up your Calibrated Blast. I think I think is in, in kind of a similar way to Goryeo's Vengeance, a nice upgrade. So let's get blasting. Turn to Scion. On the play. Weren't you just saying white cyber cards a while ago? Well, it's just like people just say this all the time. Why do I have to cyborg cards? I could like that means something. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think the pirates deck is like if you play scam at FNM and you've gotten bored, feels like a good uh good, good way. What do you think of adding troll? We we already have we have troll in the deck. <laughs> Mart, you weren't the one that also said. Mart, you can't how how have you done this? Two minutes ago or ten minutes ago, I have the exact same deck as you in the seventy five, except except the tribal flames and revolt. Tribal flames in the deck. Spike, what do you think about adding Troll of Kazadoom? Troll of Kazadoom in the deck. <laughs> Look at the deck list. <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, I don't have... Let's see, I have... I have to fetch Godless Shrine if I want to go Binding plus Kavu. I think I want to do... I didn't see Troll. <laughs> I, know, I know you didn't see Troll. I know, I know you didn't see them, but... Two on the same deck. deck. Out of line. <laughs> this is funny. They hit their third land. The trample on the Kavu is such a big deal here. The Grist minus... Attack the Arbor, kill Kavu, and then we bolt the Halfling, attack the Grist, and they're down to four non-land cards in their hand. Top deck suit. Our draw's been super good this game. It's okay, Marta. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Yeah. Plane ship, 17 months, like we're back. Our second deck tech since deck techs have been back. I the first one made me regret turning them back on. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see how this go this one goes. Sunken Walkers. Chat. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> Okay, so you, you have Sunken Citadel plus Interplanar Beacon. It, it is another filter land. That is something. I, no deck text for like 
two or three weeks, and this is this is how y'all repay me. <laughs> I don't know, brother. <laughs> don't play. I, I don't care if you're a super friends deck. Don't play Gideon Jura. Don't play Gideon Alive in the card. Don't play Gideon of Trials. These cards all suck. The One Ring is also awful. It's so bad in your super friends deck too. It's like you you gain protection from everything, but they just want to protect your planeswalkers. I really hate the One Ring here. Um. Pretty sure I'm gonna cottage back the Scion and I can attack with two four four flyers next turn plus the bolt is lethal. But I the restore balances are fun, I think. I I the, the list is cool, but like I, the idea is cool, but it's it's also like Wait, where why aren't you playing the Oh you're oh you're not playing the the stupid, what's it called, lands or the the artifacts that pick up for restore balance because you're on the sunken citadel plan. But these restore balances, I, I don't I don't even know how good they are. They kind of don't look like they're going to be that good. Looks very fun, just like the other deck tech. Don't don't put just don't, just like any card that has Gideon in it is not a card you should put in your modern deck. There aren't there aren't like really other good planeswalkers to play. I, I understand that that is maybe the problem, but the planeswalkers suck in modern. But I I think as a, as a rule of thumb, if a the card has Gideon in the name, let's probably just not put it in our modern deck. Okay, so they're gonna kill the reflection. They're gonna be down to seven when they do though, and then dead to my bolt. Yeah, you could play Karth. Uh, Karth is probably not super castable, but yeah, there's there's a few exceptions to the Planeswalkers being a bad rule. Lightning Bolt targets you. Her was super good that game. I was looking at like cyborg plans and stuff, and like I, I just kind of I think I think our our plane and our matchup against them is pretty good. My I think my current plane is in one Curse Totem, in one Needle. Out to Shadow of Mortality. You don't need to blast them for that much here. Filterland reprints got me excited for ending with Jewel. Oh, wait, the 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 Filterlands like the Odyssey Filterlands are confirmed for MH3. It's pretty cool. The, the, the deck tech command has been like have Spike yell at you for your cool deck that you love and has put so much thought and effort into. I guess it's always been that. <laughs> I guess it's always been that. I think the filter lands are in commander decks. That sounds a little bit more true. Wow, we have Leyline Scion Curse Totem. Go, dude. The Surveil Lantern one. Tribal Flames Online. Feels good to be on this side of the table. Wonder how often we take turn two off to curse totem. They play a second mana dork probably every single time. Lose to force of vigor against Grist. We're gonna play the Scion. I, I, I wouldn't hate. I would have loved to have that in my opening hand, but. Let's just play the Scion. All of Roots. One, five, six. Board for three. I don't have Cord, we're in pretty good shape. I just attack them and then tribal flames, tribal flames. I think I'm gonna go kill Grist, play Fable. 
That line also seemed like it would have been pretty reasonable. They found a Court of Calling, which probably is just going to have to be Rex Age on Curse Totem. I don't think they're ever going after my ley line, right? Maybe they, maybe they are. I guess if they just also have Yogmoth in their hand. Okay, they don't. They do have Cauldron for Grist. David with the 32 months. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing well. Is there a plan to cast Shadow for 50 mana? Well, now it costs... Oh, yeah, now it costs 15. The, I mean, the plan is to Witch's Cottage into the top and Calibrated Blast. Although, you, you do get to cast this Shadow Mortality pretty often. Although, it'll happen, I guess, less often now that if you have this, like, combo online. But if you have the combo online, you probably don't mind so much. Okay, GG. Fifteen damage, three mana. Good. All right, good start. Good start. Thanks again, David, for the thirty-two months. Again, this lands and spells hand. Like this lands and spells hand a lot more. And put back the fable. Last seen deck today on Gruul Scape. Four main deck Storm's Wrath. I've heard that some people like Canister have been playing. I haven't seen it in action that much. It seems like it's kind of nice though. Yeah, there's, there's a reason I think that the only suggestions so far, I think, for what the change have been for cards that are already in the deck. <laughs> I draw a um, land off the salute of binding the soccer tribe elder just for like extra five damage. Yeah, and blood hole ooze. <laughs> I didn't take that that seriously. Blood hole ooze is cool though. Like if it triggered on instep, I'd be like so much happier with it. Interesting to playing a soccer tribe builder over Farseek. I can Farseek a lot. Is Leyline 8 mana value off 8? It's it's 4. Um, I guess I'm going to cast Calibrated Blast, because the bolt will be lethal next turn if uh, I just have to blast the soccer tribe builder. So I revealed a Shadow Mortality. 15, you're dead. <laughs> Goodbye. Dude, there's some decks like this where you're just drawing hot and it's just, you it just feel so fucking good. <laughs> and then sometimes these decks don't draw as well. And, uh, maybe I shouldn't have left the IT profession. Yeah, you get to choose what the target of Calibrated Blast is after you reveal it. You get to do this because Calibrated Blast is a Modern Horizons 2 card. <laughs> Doom Week has spent a year. Would you put Terran for Bolt? I feel like you just gotta Bolt them, you know what I mean? Where Terran only kills Dryad. <laughs> That's always sunny. We have, we have Binding for the Dryad, too. We have Tribal Flames for the Dryad. We have Ley Line every game. Yeah, keep that. Those are running Soul Herder and Aspergorios. Unsure of cooking are very smart. 
Uh, I'm probably not. I don't know, I'm a big Soul Herder fan, of course. Fortunately, not a believer. Ring looking pretty good here. Oh, we can go like double bolt into tribal flames, maybe. Probably value surveil land over. Anything else? What was you runs an Eldrain land? Leyline turns them on. Um, I don't know. It's it's tough. I don't want like your deck to be functional without Leyline. I think is a big philosophy of that archetype. Place a basic mountain. Ask a search for tomorrow. Interesting. It's a basic mountain. Plays a dryad. And then plays Valakut tapped. They play they play Valakut here. Target my Kavu. And then I go bolt, bolt in response. They will hit me for three. Oh, the Dorvin mine. Very clutch. Are they turning the, the Kavu again? Am I missing? They're not going to have enough mountains, right? We control these five other mountains. One, two. They don't have five other mountains. Why did my Kavu die? If you control five other mountains, but they don't have five other mountains. Oh, is it because Valakut triggered? Yeah, sorry, because th this it, this was the land. You, usually you need six mountains in play, but not if Valakut is the last one. Damn it. Although we just graveyarded Shadow, so we can just find a Calibrated Blast. Not lucky. I see, though. Yeah, so that usually if the mountain is played and 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 you kill the dragon response in these spots, it doesn't trigger it, but because it was Valakut. Weird. A bit more heads up. If we had gone bolt, bolt, and done the eight, tribal flames, and done the three, they'd be dead this turn if they can't kill me here, but they can also probably kill me here and we go to game three. Land job. I did it on purpose so I could uh, loot away this card and the next card. So I could go Cottage. Just dig deeper for Calibrated Blast. Because the Dryad's like a lane line. I, I, know, I know it's I know it's because Dryad is like the lane line, but you, usually this trick does work, is, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, let's run it back on the play. Game 3. Yeah, so Real Land's big upgrade, lane line big upgrade. Kind of nice that the deck got some new life breathed into it after losing Fury, losing up to Beanstalk. Then your plus mines, two minus fives. Yeah, I, I know that Valakut is usually six mountains, y'all. It's it's mountain plus five others. But it was just very odd because the Valakut is what's checking for five other mountains. You played your Esper Archon, which is Cosmos recently. No, that deck is much worse than Esper Gorios with the Traxa. I, I, I promise you, just there's just like no reason to play that build anymore. And doesn't get to play Scion turn two, but does get to like calibrate a blast Scion. A turn five kill probably on the play. It's probably an okay matchup to have a turn five kill on the play. Is Unmarked Grave? Unmarked, is, Unmarked Grave is not a good card. It's two mana, don't impact the board. You telegraph your play for next turn really hard. Um, I've definitely played a lot with it to understand. It's just not where you want to be anymore, I think. Next time, just wait for fetch activation. Yeah, yeah, if we waited for fetch activation, then we keep our, our Kavu. Still lose the game, I think. I'm going to have a turn four kill here. Blood Crypt so I can draw Bolt and then Blast and Bolt in the same turn.
I'm hoping this is just the one ring. You guys just for Oliphant in addition to other land cyclers. Well, all of the lands in our deck at the moment are swamps. But I don't think it makes a ton of sense. Sorry, right, I was supposed to Tribal Flames the Dryad. Right now I guess I'm still doing that. <laughs> the old post combat. I do have, yeah, Abzan plus Dread for damage. So we get to blast them for 12 on our end of turn and 6 off the troll here. Although I guess now we're doing that in their upkeep. Yeah, one short of lethal. We, yeah, we only have tribal flames for four. I think it's I think it's so it, because we don't have lethal, it's just better to kill the dryad, so we're much less likely to die, and then we get to untap and have lethal. Yeah, we don't have a the, our our only island is uh, Xander's Lounge. It looks like we're going to be on a nice 2-0 start here. Looks looking good. Definitely curving out, drawing well. I, 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 it's always so satisfying to Cottage Blast. So... The Shadow Castable so far. I mean, I played a lot of this archetype. Shadow has been really castable. I think it's actually a lot less castable than it used to be, because you are gaining a lot of life off Scion, and you're shocking less aggressively because you're getting more surveil lands. But you, you, your opponent will hit you, and your life total will be low. Yeah. Basic planes go. Basic planes. Bella reprieve. Probably up against the um, uh, I don't know. I'm blanking. Harder proc deck. Maybe this is kind of dangerous if they can get rid of my ley line, also. But I'm just gonna kind of think of them not being able to do that. Ooh, that resolved. Looks like average damage for calorie blast without immune oblivion is five point four. Yeah, that, that sounds about right, and that is a pretty good number to hit, to be honest. Okay, bad news. Also, don't think I have any fetchable untapped green. I, know, oh, I, I did the Temple Garden, duh. This can go... I like, I, how, also, like, how castable is Leyland of the Guild Pact? What castable? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I I, I know we we have one non swamp in our witch's cottage deck. Sue me. It is a swamp if you have a Leyland. You get the uh, green surveillance probably because this lets me cast the pack easier. Binding seems okay. I kind of want to set up for calibrated bless though. I think I think I'll keep it. I think I'll keep I'll keep it. I'll keep it, but. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna put the uh, scion in the yard with the with the kavu. Now we need to draw another fetchlander cottage or troll to calibrate a blast for twelve. And I will just go ahead and I think main phase binding the ring. So. Black, yeah, blamp. Yeah, it sh should be should be very easy to cast. I just <laughs> sure that would be the case. We're tapping in planes for Martyr Sands here. They reveal a Ranger Captain of Biting Grace and Eagles and a Raven Inspector. So now they get to 
martyr and gain a ton of life every single turn, which is a bit awkward. Um, so I, I can calibrate a blast for 12. And I can tribal flames. Oh, I, I can't also tribal flames because I don't have enough red mana. Let's just, I think, play Leyline of the Guild Pack this turn. Weirdly discard tribal flames, just get life. Tommy of the False Hope, dude. <laughs> Could Flames the Martyr then exile it? Yeah. Good, huh? This is not going to be too castable. Need to find another Leyline Binding, I guess. Wait, they didn't cast the Kami. So they're just going to try to Martyr Sands to gain more. So I hit them for 9 down to 22. Dude, even Treble Flames plus the 15 damage from Calibre Blast is not enough here. Kind of wild. Wait, they didn't activate the Martyr end of turn. I guess they just want to high roll more life. So my, my plan is to calibrate to blast the Kami, I guess. They drew a Solitude. Plays an Inspector. Draws a card after activating the Martyr. But after playing the Inspector. But again, they're just not playing the Kami, so now now let's deal them 15. This is kind of a fun game where they're just gaining <laughs> unlimited life and I'm <laughs> dealing <laughs> tons and tons of damage. Basically counter one Martyr activation. Classic kind of burn versus gain. I don't know. I have also thirteen damage here. If I draw another cottage or troll off of this, I could win. Okay. They take nine. So I I I I have lethal burn here, but I I, I have to do it in response to the Martyr activation. I can't do it uh, before. Oh, they can also make me shuffle with Field of Ruin. Damn it. Okay, well. Good old onboard tricks, I guess. They can solitude their own Ranger Captain gain three, but that's not enough. Oh, but they can sack the Ranger Captain in response. I'll, I'll, just, I'll respond. I'll, I'll also cast the Calibrated Blast, I guess, and just hope. <laughs> and, the, and they they also tap Dim field of ruin instead of demolition field. Demolition field does not force a shuffle. Field of ruin does. Kind of funny. Wow, we we won that game. <laughs> I that was odd to win that game. Or my opponent gained like sixty life or something. You can decline to search. Uh, yeah, but Field of, Field of Ruin always shuffles. If, you, if your opponent activates Field of Ruin, it, you have to shuffle even if you fail to find. It's not worded that way on uh, on, on, on Demolition Field. Okay, Needle in. Where tear, where tear, where tear. First totem? Seems okay. Stops Martyr, stops Kami. Stops Ranger Captain Sack. I'll play a Curse Totem. 
Is Martyrduck any good? It, it has very polarizing matchups. Um, I, I'd say play at own risk. Um, I'm going to cut the tribal teams and a shadow probably. But I, I think it's it's not a deck I would not recommend. I think I'll also bring in second basic against all of their field effects. I mean my delta. Oh yeah, also stopping might. Totem does not stop troll, no. Let's mulligan this hand. My opponent is also on a mulligan the six. Okay, keeping this one. I almost want to keep the second ley line. Yeah, I don't think the shadow is actually doing a ton at the moment. Looking for untap land. Ding ding ding. It, it's nice to finally get to do this. Like, obviously, like so many people were playing like the just normal zoo decks right at the beginning of uh, the set, and I didn't want to just play normal zoo decks. And I was really kicking myself for not like discovering rainbow rhinos. Um, rewarded. But this is a very, very sweet uh, Leyline Scion deck. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? Oh, wait, I'm actually going to get Blood Crypt here so that when my opponent fields me end of turn, I get to Calibrate a Blast. I just just like YOLO the blast. I think it's an okay spot to do this. Flashes back. Yeah, oh no. <laughs> I revealed my people. <laughs> Be funny if that how rele if that one damage ends up being really relevant. Wrath of God, okay. I'm happy it was that and not the One Ring, I guess. So let me go Swamp Cycle, Cottage, Cottage Back, Scion, Cast Fable. Edel, 17 months, thank you, welcome back. Three cards in their hand. They grab a haywire mite. Might my ley line. So my so I want to shuffle away this scion. I think I'll draw it and then choose to discard nothing and then throw away my shaman token, cast and then cast the ley line. Lux Capacitor, thank you for the seven months, hope you're doing well. I feel like they thought about like sacrificing that for a second. Can you deal with a third wayline? Three cards in their hand. Game three? <laughs> I don't know how I'm beating. I guess... I wonder if they ever kill the Fable this turn, because they, they won't be able to kill the... They can kill the Leyline next turn. Gift to Guni, 25 months. Welcome back. Did you target the ley line? Would you like wear terror or binding right now? Okay. It is like wear terror binding. My Mardu deck sometimes somehow only has Abzan lands. I, I didn't have a second blood crypt to fetch that last turn. 
Also means I don't have that many red sources left in the deck. Uha, uh -huh, four months, welcome back. Do they have a second Haywire Might? They do have a second Haywire Might. Let's go to game. Is Astrodrift now playable with Land Cyclers? If you want to play a bunch of Cyclers in a three mana card, you should probably put Shardless Agent for Living End in your deck and win a lot more than uh, Astral Drift. Uha, four months. Goonie, 25. Flux at seven. Thank y'all. On the play. Snap it off. A bit awkward to have a basic in the hand against the fields. Are they playing Martyr? Not... Maybe you could consider Death and Taxes, but Death and Taxes kind of has lost all meaning for Veil value. Yep. One more where that came from, I guess. those I guess I can surveil also and then like just on my upkeep if I have a high mana value card calibrated blast although not really doable with the, the ring yeah, I think I'll still surveil So anyways, I started blasting. It is nice to have the totem in play so that they can't gain life with the ring out. Sign of Draco, baby. Take 12. Never lucky. I did not fall to their own backlave. I'm just going to flash this back. Come on, big money! Three damage. Well, better to kill the Solitude and have them not gain three every turn. Taking two. Down to five. Tap in the ring again. No fear. Remember, they cannot use Martyr to gain life. While curse totem is in play, but if they can answer totem and then martyr, we will. Celestial purge my curse totem. Play martyr. Go up to fourteen life. Play another martyr. Well, yeah. yeah, blast targets after you see the card that you hit. It does this because, again, it's a Modern Horizons 2 card. Wait, you win. Let's go to the next one. Tough matchup. <laughs> Tough matchup. I think. Double ley line. <laughs> Both ley lines. We get to Giganta deck. I think we're just going to be leading on land and we can cycle troll for a second land if we don't need the binding. I'd prefer to play Scion on turn two if I could. Looks like we're in the uh, do mirror here. And being being the one the ley line scion has gotta be doing the matchup.
They have a Leyland Binding. Could be relatively cooked. You'll get Blood Crypt to kind of play around that a little bit better. More post Binding Domain. Obviously, they just don't have the card land binding. They are not going to be able to win this game. And it looks like they don't have it. Love that for us. High tech for four. Vigilance, hexproof, life link, trample for strike. Bad boys. I'll put that in the graveyard, I guess. <laughs> Seem like it really does a lot at, at this point. What are those creatures? These are Wild Nacatles. These are just two mana, four, four, flying, first strike, vigilance, lifelink, trample. Proof. This is like the bare minimum. Like, you need for a creature to be playable in a uh... host spot. <laughs> it's the bare minimum of drop. Can... Here, can bring in the, uh, the wear tears. Probably not much else. Shadow's just kind of a good card in the matchup. It's just really castable, bigger than their stuff. Um, I think I'm going to go trim two Fables and a Tribal Flames. I guess Tribal Flames just also kills Kabu. Just go down to... Ah, let's, go, let's, let's play two threes still. Is there any way to animate Leyline with Scion on board? <laughs> uh, not any good ones you could play. Five mana enchantment that enchantress plays sometimes. I may be becoming uh, Leyline Scion brained a bit here. <laughs> I've been beating Leyline Scion a lot, and I, I don't know. We're also like we're also like running super hot this league, so hard to feel like hard to play a league like this and not wanting to play more Leyline Scion. I'm sneaking this. In this matchup, it's a keep for sure. Starfield of Nyx. That, that, that's a card. Now that is a magic card, huh? What's the what's the uh, enchantment guy's cradle? I can't believe I forgot the name, but <laughs> that card for image three, huh? They do make Dono Leyland deck last night? I did not. What for, What format was it in? Play around stub with the main phase bolt. Sarah saying this was legacy, or, or if that was Doom makes donut list. Yeah, I need, to, I need, to, I know, I know. Tesa does vaguely combo with Leyline, but I kind of can't remember how. Yeah, coding Leyline then hit with card. You know what? I one one thing I still have never done in a game of Modern is turn my own card into an artifact with coding, and then plus four for it to be a plus on it for it to be a four four creature. Like, I feel like that should have come up by now. I I remember there was a time where that was a play, it was a play that, like, wasn't on my radar, and then I saw, like, a screenshot showing that you can do it. Oh, so I guess I didn't need to do this to play around stuff, but whatever. I saw a screenshot showing you can do that. You can coding your own Karn, plus on it, then it's a 4-4 creature. But, like, it, it just has never come up for me that I've been able to do that, and I, I really want to. Yeah, I've, I've animated a one ring, but I want I want Karn to turn himself into a four four. That's that is the juice. I'm just gonna swamp cycle for a basic swamp and cast territorial kavu off of. Swamp Godless Shrine. Stuff. So I can binding that back into play in combat. Take seven this turn. Land for Cottage could be good. Two drop would be good. Celebrated Blast not that good. You want to play around Stub? Let's let's play around Stub.
The Lele makes the tokens black and white so they die they place themselves. Not only have, but but don't you have to sacrifice three creatures to like start the loop? Let, let, let's let's read the card. Okay, Taste of Ores of Cyan. It's a white black one, two, three, sacrifice three white creatures, exile target creature, never another black creature control dies, make a one one spirit. So you you the thing is you just like have to have Hey, Tessa Leyland and then three other creatures. I, and I don't know if in my entire life I've had three creatures play at the same time in modern. It's just or four creatures and play at the same time. It's so tough. But it, it is sick. I, undeniably sick. Okay, they're gonna tribal flames me, I think. I know Draco. Okay, so we may have to YOLO a little bit here, but this is always the best part of playing this deck. Is I hope there's a uh, sign or. Uh, Whatever the card's called. <laughs> okay, we hit Leyland in the guild pack, though, so we get to kill this. Shadow Mortality? Shadow Mortality. Okay, so Leyland Bowmaster. I don't know. It's it's very it's very cute, I agree. But also, the taste is going to be pretty rough outside of having Leyland in play. I guess I guess having Scion, Leyland makes it more likely that you can keep your stuff. But also, if you have Scion, Leyland, you're just kind of cooking anyways. I will hope there's a Shadow of Mortality on top, or hope that I win the next game. A Troll of Chasm Doom. Six damage, not quite enough. Let's go to game three. That's the other combo. If you have any sack outlet and a creature, it dies to infinite. A lot of pieces, but I, it's, ju it's juicy for sure. Undeniably juicy. Wait, game three on the plane. We, we put, we dragged the canal? The canal. Reenact. I was thinking reenact the crime. Oh, that card. I don't know. I've been thinking. Well, I'm gonna keep. Hope that we can surveil into an untapped land. Yeah, if a creature died this turn, gain two lives, surveil two, investigate, and make a two-two. It's just there's the creatures are so beefy and modern right now. It's like, like having a bunch of little guys is kind of not where you want to be. I'll take a tap land. I am kind of generous. I am honest. I'll take a tap land here. So unlucky. <laughs> I, I guess one one nice thing is that I can uh, kill a leyland binding with wear tear. I do kind of like Magus of the Bridge. Come on, land, I'll even take a tap land. Yes, let's fucking go. <laughs> yes, let's go. So if they attack, they have Leyland Binding for Sherzies, so I probably won't block, although they know I would think they have that for Sherzies, so they know that I know that I shouldn't block. Okay, they have Leyland Binding. <laughs> uh, I have, I have wear tear to kill the binding, so not not even given the option to block. Kind of greedy to even think about asking for a land. I could fuse too. What are we doing? What are we doing? I think I just probably have to go like Temple Garden, main phase, play around stub. Oh no, oh no. Love to get to Bolt, so I creature this turn. Yeah, Leyland doesn't stop Giganta. It's very funny. We don't have Giganta because we have Shadow of Mortality in the deck. Yeah, each, each of these symbols is a different mana symbol, so you get to play Giganta. Yeah, they're, they're like definitely playing Leyline, I think. I basically have never seen any Zoo deck without Leyline. They they just haven't had it this match. Hybrid man is dumb. Yeah, I I I think it's kind of an understated thing about the companions. Like if, if the companions just like if if, if Gigantha cost three green red, it would be a lot. It would be a lot more reasonable. If Loris costs one black white, Ihira costs one green white. It, it, like these cards would all just be a degree more balanced. And like the fact that they're hybrid mana, I think was a big miss. And there's, there's like a few other problems with companions, you could say, <laughs> but 
That's a problem. Blue white. Blue white. Hunt out, hunt. Definitely second binding, which I'm pretty cooked against, fortunately. Okay, so play this tapped, Tribal Flames the Scion. And cast our Shadow of Mortality. Companion's the best mechanic that's never coming back. Uh, I, I, I agree the Companion could have been done well. I agree Companion could have been done well, and um, they kind of fucked it up really, really hard. I, th I think if they were all like, oh bosh, power level, no hybrid mana... Oh, you know, Lutri is kind of funny because it was like pre banned in Commander, but L Lutri, like in 60 card formats, is a national treasure. <laughs> also, like Companions pre nerf, like like the the nerf is like it's kind of silly that you just you used to be able to cast them from your Companion Zone. But I, I I agree. I, I don't think it's like I I, I like I, I think they should never print Companions again. I like I like full stop. Just never print another card with Companion um, in non EDH. Uh, set. I think that they are just so deeply unpopular that it, it, it just al almost no good could ever come from printing another card with the word companion on it. Unless, I guess, you know, have it in the name. Did you get it to hand? We're alive. I'm still standing. After all this time, feeling like a true survivor. Feeling like a little kid. Okay, so if I fetch basic swamp, I can play shadow and have bolt up for Ragavan. Which would let me play around third leyline binding, but then I'm not in like super good shape. Alternatively, I could just get my fourth domain end of turn. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna not play around third leyline binding there. Get knowns after they draw. Yeah, I think Obosh is just the perfect, perfect companion for Constructor, I feel. Also, Blue Kavu and Shadow. Oh, okay, that was the line. <laughs> oh, this lets me go two mana Scion next turn, which is kind of nice. I don't like Mage. Accelerator Blast? I think the important thing for making pins good is they should not incentivize you to play efficient one for ones, because then card. Extra card is too good on its own. I mean, extra card is just always good, but I, I agree. I, I think I think no companion should be able to generate card advantage. They did name Sign of Draco, which I do think makes sense because this is a big, beefy life gainer. Thankfully, I have a Lightning Bolt. I have the Scion. You, I attack for seven. How about you? Gain seven. And what's your life total? Seven. Okay, their hand is uh, Giganta, three mystery cards. It very easily have stubs, so if I'm playing Leyline of the Guild Pack this turn, I could be kind of walking into it a little bit. Although, and and if I'm gonna walk into it, I could also just try to win this game with this Calibrated Blast. I feel like I do have a kind of easiest attack with both here. Dude, imagine they have Binding plus Stub. But I, I could play around Calib I could play around Stub by um, casting this Ley Line of the Guild Pact, but I, I just feel like I should probably be upkeeping Calibrated Blast every single time here. I put Scion on top because if they counter the Blast, I'd rather draw Scion than Shadow. Dude, that was a close game. <laughs> Down to one, attack with our 7-7 seven, seven Shadow Life Linker. Cool. Okay, we're we're at a prediction going. Uh let's see how many people predicted 3-2 versus predicted 4-1. Majo, 20 months, they go come back. 8% 3-2, 54% 4-1. By far the most people. Uh, <laughs> rounded down to 0% 2-3. It's good news. Four people though. Sort of mulligan. And yeah, just London mulligan, brother. I don't know. 
I was on Mulder 5. Yeah, and Pain Glacial Worm, the original companion. Uh, we lost to Martyr Proc. There's sack cards now, yeah. I don't know, we'll see. I'm I'm somewhat optimistic they'll be okay. Keep the troll so we can you know grab a cottage and calibrated blast the troll for good sixer. I guess we could have graveyarded it too, but I need the land, right? Electron companion. No, I, I, I don't know. I, I had something like some dumb posters, like Urza's little helper that just like puts all your all Urza's tower, Urza's mine, Ur Urza's power plant, and Urza's saga into play. Uh, it was it, not a particularly good shit pose. A binding pitch solitude, pitch prismatic ending, two cards in hand. Absent triumph, steam vents. I guess this is just for color. Also, like one sub teeth. Get our Xander's Lounge. Grab. Shadowy Backstreet. Oh no, I need the green one. I need green, I need green and white, so I guess they get again, Doth and Tram. What's wrong with taking the Backstreet? Pure Bane, 60 months, they go come back. Yeah, I guess Urza's Factory, Urza's Workshop. Why, you know, why not? <laughs> That's the flavor text. Why not? I'm pretty scared of a uh, fairy time raveler, but you think it'd be good to add ley lines to the standard calibrated blast list? Just so you have a chance to turn to Draco. I, I mean, what do you think this deck list is, <laughs> Leonard? Like, what do you like? What do you think? What do you think we've done? That's exactly what this is. But yeah, it seemed good so far. But I don't know, like the, like the standard calibrated blast deck got like really scrapped because they they banned B and they banned Fury. But I don't know, this this is this is the new standard calibrated blast list. Oh wait, when you say standard, so you mean like the other one? Sorry, I just played too much of this deck on stream. You mean like the normal? Like I have nothing in my deck besides big stuff, and I calibrated blast to win. Yeah, maybe though. Yeah, three cards in their hand. You got a land. Okay, then the Witch's Cottage. Not Witch's Cottage. Assuming because you had all the bolts and copy stuff working on all the point. Yeah, we, we the the idea is that you use Witch's Cottage to assemble your Tron. We could have played the um we played the uh ley line this turn, but I feel like kill this Tommy. If they have second om nom. Bad. Okay. Does Mono Green Tron ever play Grazer? Um, maybe. <laughs> uh, I I feel like I've seen it. I don't know. I. It's at the very least not a very common thing. Okay, as long as you don't hit Bolt, we win. Rival Flames, two damage, ha ha. Yeah, I kind of okay, the three on the front side and flashes back for five. Kind of a crazy card. In Needle, we have Binding for their Bindings. I could play one Wear Tear, though. Minus two bolts. You just, you just kind of don't have a density of, of green lands that you can play on turn one for Grazer to be good, I think. Uh... I don't know. There's like that generous int build that was kind of interesting in Tron. I I didn't exactly end the generous int build, but it was it was it was interesting. Casting Ginger Synth is actually probably pretty good in the Rhino metagame too. It doesn't die to unholy heat. But they're like using it to like, you know, use a Tron land to get their green source. Yeah, helps your living in matchup. <laughs> oh, if we keep this hand, we don't have full domain. 
You have Neo for Rin and Six. Where am I looking? Give it a go. Of course. Uh, both, both evening faces is really important. This is kind of a burn deck, you know. We're a tribal flames, calibrated blast deck. Bolt, Bolt is good, largely because it does target your your face. Also, also being castable in one mana on turn one is super important because you have so many two, like sinkhole. That qualification very well. Clear a prismatic ending by leading on Scion. I'm gonna lead on the copy though. Both get teft pretty hard. I will play my three drop on turn three. I'm good at Magic the Game. Play one drop. Play. How many lands do you have? Play that one. Okay, I'll take the take the two for one. They got four cards in their hand over there. What's the downside to leading on Scion turn 2? The one power? Yeah, one power, and I get to loot with Kavu. If I draw Leyline later, Scion's better. I'm, you know. What's what's the advantage to leading on Scion besides playing around Prismatic Ending? Maybe that's just enough. I remember to like kind of shock somewhat aggressively in this matchup because you want to be able to hard cast your um, shadows if you draw them. Ending into very to very bounces Scion also. It's exactly the same against Teferi. Thanks, Kilgore. Happy twelve months. They had the post land on that here. Four cards in there. Your shadow. Have Leyline by now. Target. Probably the wrong thing. Cost six right now, so I fetch shock. Or so it costs eight, fetch shock to make it cost five. Not too many shock lands. <laughs> Not too many shock lands. It looks like they got also rewarded for their binding target choice. Just setting up to be more mana efficient next turn, I guess. Because we could bolt ourselves also. Uh-oh. Three. They also only have two cards in their hand. Their deck's pretty prone to flooding. Although us gaining five here is, like, pretty bad, because now <laughs> it's still not castable. I'm going to go ahead and go to game. Game three. Make sure we have enough time for another league, to another league today. Okay, on the play, what? Second wear tear. I think on the play, I care a little bit less about like bolting a half wing. Let's play a second wear tear. Thanks again, kill Gore for the 12 months. Long time. Even this hand. I think I might cut the Indomitian for Overgrown Tomb. What do you feel about Bolt versus Flame Slash? This is, a, this is a burn deck. We're going to play Lightning Bolt. I know I'm a big flame slash gamer, but we 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 are, we, are, we have bindings, we have and, and tribal flames, we have more of those bases covered, and we are in, in, both targeting your opponent is nice. I try for surveil. I already I already have three surveil lands. I I don't think I want four. Um, there have been several times like this. This is a hand where I would like prefer to have overgrown tomb. I think, and there have been other hands like this. So I, I'm just gonna. 
make that change. I'm going to discard the Shadow of Mortality here. Try to set up for Calibrated Blast. I get this over gun tune. Anybody should have surveilled first? Not sure. Looking for Calibrated Blast though, we have the Cottage with the Troll. Um... I agree with that, it's kind of close. Creativity with 5 plus Surveillance and some Precious Darkon stuff. I mean, I've seen Creativity with Surveillance uh, and Precious stuff, but I'm not like a Creativity Master and um, uh, Creativity is, I, I don't know how interesting of a deck it is to play at the moment. Maybe someone interesting. In this card's second wear tear. I'll discard the Ley Line also. I'll discard the Ley Line. Now I draw my Ley Line. I guess I'm going to Binding the Omnath now. Hold up Wear Tears slash Fight Goal. One surveillance makes a lot of sense. If, if you're playing creativity, you should have like two surveillance for sure, probably three. But like, it's it's like non to go any land with fetch lands, like, just should have it. Also, it's just not very negotiable at this point, I think. Well, the fetch land, not that they had much to do with it last, last time, maybe a little bit omnath flooded. That was really high, even if I 15 them with Calibrated Blast. That could be quite good enough. Our one of Bolt is a funny draw. Um, I'm going to come out first. I kind of think they have a third Omnath in their hand, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast this Tribe of Flames. I don't know if that's the case. Your contributor depends on color plans. Doubling up same color can screw over a bunch. Yeah, you play different colors, rail lands. Like, want to be your color? I, it's I don't know. I, for me, I, I'm just tired of having to. Um. Surveil land truth to some to some extent. So it's just like these lands are so good. You should be playing multiples of them and like slow control decks like crazy. We're fighting. Not fighting anymore. Uh, I'm going to go let Athena inside, and then we're going to run back one more time with uh, Overgun Tomb over Doth Trium. 3 2. Do some rich, uh, rich chatters in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> 